Hello beautiful Aries Sun and Ascendant sign Aries. This is your tarot scope. It is a combination of tarot and astrology for the month of February. Let's get started with your reading. Welcome to the channel Irish Donna Tarot. Aries, let's take a look. We have my home is my castle and what we see in this card is a woman with her her home her castle has become a part of her and the meaning of this is for you aries that the older you get the more memories you have the more stability you have the more framework in which you feel protected because as you age you store your me memories they're beautiful there's painful memories but this really provides you with a beautiful place in your life that you really are your own castle that who you are and who you've developed as a person is the stability and the foundation of your life and very much more as we gain in age and wisdom this month aries we have the card of the apocalypse for you and the apocalypse is that there is something that you've tried you've tried to see for a long time we have an eye right in the center of this sort of swirling energy so whatever is hidden or whatever has been hidden you will learn the truth of a situation now it isn't necessarily going to be comfortable, but it clears the way for you to have a better life. So whatever it is that you need to, to purge out of your life will become apparent in the very near future. Unexpected visitors. <laughs> this is actually a card that is telling me that you are going to have many new experiences coming up. This isn't just about visitors coming to your home, although you may have many. But unexpected visitors is about all of those new experiences. You are about to embark on a big journey, and I feel that the apocalypse is going to actually clear the way for you to have more fun, more freedom, you know, whatever you thought you had to have you're going to let go of that I think the truth that's going to come out is that you are very well positioned to make a major life change at this point in time we get this number five four and one is five so we get all of these sort of surprises but with them you are going to meet very interesting new characters that are going to enter your life new visitors as we will your advice from your ancestors and the ancients is set your sights higher. Right now, you're setting too low of a bar in your life for what is required for people or places or jobs or whatever it is that you have in your life. You know, what Spirit is saying here is that you can really afford to, to request more of the universe. And I feel very much that you're going to have an exquisite month full of surprises. So let's look and see what your horoscope energy is. The first in the seventh house, the second in the eighth. The first in the seventh house are you and your partner. So you are in this space of feeling very loved up. You feel good about love. You feel as though you're with your soulmate. This is that Gemini soulmate card. You feel as though your person will protect you. You feel as though they're not going anywhere, that you are a part of their pride, quote unquote, a part of their family, as the term goes. And you don't really want to go anywhere. We have these two beautiful pillars with a path forward. And that's where you see yourself going in the f near future with your person. Now, the Eight of Air says that your person is very much up in their head. They're very concerned that you might leave them. So it's almost as though this lion is laying very still. 
and being very, very solid for this beautiful feminine entity to lay against him and to sleep and have good rest. So I feel very much that your partner doesn't want to do anything to upset you. They're very much, you know, sort of on lockdown mode in terms of creating issues or problems in the relationship. The energy for your personal money, this is your money and this is your partner's money, we see you going through a transformation. Uranus says that you may suddenly change jobs, you may suddenly change the amount of money you make, and Mars is your ruler, Aries. It's going to be in the sign of Taurus, which is your money house, which means that you're going to take action to make more money. You know, you're just going to say, I want more for me. The high priestess energy says that you will be very covert in your operations, whatever you're doing, keep it a secret. That is the advice. The five of fire says that your person, your partner is probably between jobs or doesn't, there's some sort of interruption in income, but momentarily. The five of fire says that, you know, one more, one more little burning shred of paper, starlet or whatever, your person's going to be very successful. So your person is really battling their way. Um, to make your relationship better so that there isn't conflict. They want to give you more stability as seen by the beautiful lion lying behind you. And so they're trying to be very careful how they go about um, earning their income so that they can be supportive of you. Gorgeous. Okay. The world card in your third house says that you may be moving far away. The world card is usually a very long distance energy. So when we get the world card, we're looking at probably moving perhaps to a location that is, you know, it's the number 21. So at least 210 miles away or more from where you're at. When we look at the energy here, that you have. Oops, these are swapped. I'm sorry. That's Gemini energy. This is Sag. Okay. Um, we're looking at you really enjoying yourself. You're going to enjoy the people that you encounter where you are going. The third house is your local neighborhood, your car, your communication. So because of the World Wide Web also, we can text our children, we can text our friends. So you're not going to lose communication. Your partner is in this element of very much working to keep everything solid. The Queen of Earth for you uh, is your ninth house energy. So it really also is telling me that a partner may say to you, look it, I will support you and pay for you to elevate your education because these are educational cards. This is lower education. This is higher education. So when I'm getting this partnership energy for you, they feel as though more job skills could lend you a better step into the world at a higher level. Again, your partner right now is seeking to increase the abundance in your life. For those of you who do not have a partner, Partner. This is the other side of the coin for who you are. So these, if you're, if you don't have a partner, you're integrating this energy into your own personality, into your life at this time. So it does not require a partner per se. Your fourth house of home is going to be incredibly happy in the near future. It looks as though for many of you, um, you know, you're, you're going through a huge transition. The Nine of Cups says that you want happiness, you crave happiness, you want to eat, drink, be merry, you want to spend time with friends. And for whatever reason, you feel as though the abundance of friendship, the abundance of celebration, are definitely increasing. They're on the move and they're to make you so much happier and feel fulfilled. The Ace of Fire, new beginnings, passionate new beginnings in your career, which follows very much with what's going on here. Uh, for many of you, you also could get... Um, 
when we look at the second house and the eighth house. For some of you, you may not get a loan for an education right now or a grant, but if you continue to pursue it, it does show that you will be allowed to have some sort of increase. And especially right now with all the stimulus packages, there may be something available. Not readily, not immediately, but in the near future, by May most likely. And that is the time of Taurus. Other people's money becoming your money for your assets and wealth building. So when we look at the Ace of Fire and we look at the 10th house of career, you have Pluto there. And so that is very much oriented to you taking the leap of faith uh, for you striking out on your own in a very fiery way. I would even say for many of you, you could probably sell real estate because you have this nine uh, of water. You have this energy and, you know, this will only be for a few of you, but you know, the cards are telling me that you love homes. There's everything about homes that you love. You could be decorating. You could be someone who integrates your own love of home with a career related to people changing homes, which is Pluto energy. It's, you know, ending something. It's transformational energy. So when you sell one home and you want to buy another, this looks like it could be really life altering for you. And it would probably be in a warm weather destination because we have the Ace of Fire. It looks as though you would naturally be able to do this. This would be a very easy transition for those of you who are interested in that sort of thing. Otherwise, what we have here still is a new career. So we're seeing you really make a dramatic change in career. And if not now, let's see, we would go to the 10th card and then we go to the Emperor card. So what we see is that within four months, most likely, regardless of what decision or where you're at in the process, you probably will make a major change that will make you incredibly happy. When we look at your fifth house of romance, you do not want to change romantic partners at this time. The full moon in Leo has made you very hesitant to make a change. We see that your 11th house, your partner is working very hard to be your best friend. This is a house of friendship. It's the house of association. So again, this can also show me that you could like, if say I just, if we follow the concept of you decide to become a realtor in a new place that you move to, one in which there's a lot of international energy and really perks you up. What we're seeing here is that in your 11th house, you could become part of an association. Like you could become a, a member of the board of realtors or something like that. But what it's telling me is that your expansion, your good luck, your money, your stability, your happiness and self-expression, and your ability to communicate effectively, this is you, Aries. This is the Emperor card. What we're seeing here is that your ability to be a good friend, a good sort of team player, I have shivers right now because you are off the charts. Your ability to form positive relationships and be a leader. You are a leader, an unexpected leader because that's Uranus and Aquarius. So you're an unexpected leader wherever you go. And that is going to happen right now in your life. And you've had this experience before when everybody in the office, you know, they say, well, we need to do X, Y, or Z. And that's what the manager is saying over in the corner. And everybody just almost without thinking, turns and they look to you for the leadership instead of the traditional management. They feel as though you're a natural leader and you are. Aquarius really is. Very enlightened thinking, moving into a much happier, much more congenial energy. When you went through the period of years in which Pluto was, you know, squaring your sun, you've really had a rough go of it. We're almost finished with this energy. When Pluto moves into Aquarius, you're going to have another life-altering experience. It's very positive. We're a couple of years away. I believe it's 2024. 
So now look at this energy. Now the two of earth, you are very focused on improving your health, improving day-to-day -day life. You know, you're juggling different ideas about what you want to do, but you're also juggling probably two of something. Now the two of earth can mean you could be juggling money, but it can also mean that you're juggling jobs, you're juggling a move with a job. You know, you can be juggling a lot of different things at this time, but you're doing it with uh, with no problem. You, know, you have this beautiful energy here of Virgo. You're very detail-oriented, and that's multitasking at its best. In your 12th house, you are having a lot of dreams. Your messages, look at this. It's almost like these branches are the antenna that uh, the universe is sending you very, very symbolic dreams. You're going to have a lot of dream energy coming in here in the next month, Aries. Aries, we had two Dream Decoder cards come out. So let's look and see the one, because we've been talking about houses, real estate, moving. Um, we see somebody outside of a house at night. Let's see what this is. A house or home can represent our ego or our inner world. So intruders or burglars usually indicate that deep transformation is taking place or is needed. You may feel deeply insecure, especially if you don't know who the intruder is. Perhaps you need to take measures to build your confidence. There may be a particular aspect of yourself that you don't feel comfortable with. If so, acknowledge what they are and work out a way of dealing with them. A variation of this dream is carrying similar a similar meaning. It's trying to hold a door shut to keep someone out or knowing that someone else is in your house without your say so. If you wake feeling anxious, this suggests the problem problem is serious. Spend some time in self-reflection to identify what is troubling you deep down and then ask yourself what steps are needed to find calm. So it does look like there's somebody in your sphere here because we saw visitors, remember, and this visitor makes you question yourself. But the visitor can simply be your own worries. And that's what this card is repeating, that there is something that's troubling you and giving you a sense possibly. Now that's only for those, this is not that it's going to happen, that simply this Pisces energy of dreaming. If you have this dream, then Dream Decoder is saying what to look at. If you don't have this dream, it's not your part of the reading, and so you can feel free to ignore it. If you do have this dream, please come back and say something in the comments because I can elaborate on this to help you because the whole point of what I'm doing is to help everyone, okay? Okay, so now we have unable to find a restroom. So let's see what the psychological significance is of this. It says, searching unsuccessfully for a restroom or lavatory is a sign that you're feeling frustrated or blocked in some way in waking life. Since using a restroom is a very personal thing to do, the dream is probably concerned with some deep aspect of your inner life. One possible message is that you need to let go of any anger, guilt, shame, jealousy, fear, hate, or sadness. Emotion appears to be holding you back. Another is that you aren't paying enough attention to your life's true priorities or you're neglecting your personal needs. You're probably placing others' priorities above your own well-being and would do well and be well advised to take better care of yourself. Give yourself more space, calm, respect, and freedom. If you do find the restroom, this is a positive sign that you'll find a healthy way to let go unless the room turns out to be unusable, in which case the former warning still applies. So again, you know, not everyone's going to have a do lucid dreaming, but I am running a contest if you want a free reading. There are four new postings today. I'm giving away four readings for the month of February. The winners will be posted to enter, like, subscribe, hit the all notifications button, comment so I can find you and find your name.
Um, and there's also other ways. There's another way to enter the contest, but thumbs up, comment, and subscribe are important. And the other alternatives are in the description box below, as is my personal reading information. And yes, I am a full-time psychic. This is not a side gig for me. I've been full-time and I'm well vetted. You can find uh, independently vetted reviews on me if you were to Google Irish Donna Tarot. So thank you so much for your time, Aries looking forward to seeing you again in another video if you grace me with your presence sending you love from chicago send some back and tell me where you're from bye bye aries